<clears throat> Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. And Leo, this is your weekly reading for January 13th to the 19th. This week we have the beautiful Sisterhood of the Rose Oracle card. We have the Queen of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the beautiful Fall energy as well. So Leo, we have a theme here of moving on from conflict this week, moving on from the situations that are no longer serving you, the situations that might be causing you, you know, um, some sort of the five of swords is So Leo, we have a theme here this week of leaving behind energies that aren't serving you. In particular, those energies that are very triggering, um, negative, you know, that Five of Swords energy that kind of indicates those thoughts and um, those interactions with people that might just really get under your skin or not be serving you in any way at all. You know, it's just not worth it. It's not worth the investment of time and energy. And it's time for you to build your own direction and start out on a whole new journey, which is indicated here by the full energy. So before we kick off, Leo, I'm just going to uh, read out that oracle card, Sisterhood of the Rose. Beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. The Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. A cross-section of ancient lineages, it is the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and the sacred geometry of all of life. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear whispers of Mother Earth. Yeah, it's interesting, uh, Leo, because I, I am feeling this reading for many of you does relate to life purpose, um, particularly career and business. And some of you might be called to, uh, if you can, possibly transition your career from a job that you have to do to one that actually lights you up, one that's actually serving your life purpose, one that's actually serving humanity, helping other people, uh, you know, whatever that may be for you. It could be, you know, work in the light worker field. Um, it will be individual to each of you because I'm really called to start here in your recent past with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, it, it can be business and career. It doesn't have to be limited to that. Leo is a general reading. But some of you have been investing in a situation that not only is not bringing you the reward that you desire and is not delivering, but potentially it's actually been resulting in some kind of conflict as well, <clears throat> be it internal conflict or external conflict. So external conflict, you know, in a workplace situation can be the sort of one-upmanship that you get, the kind of um, sense of competition. It can be, you know, vying for um, the promotions, trying to get the best projects. Um, some people might be even undermining others or, um, you know, actually putting them down in order to come out on top. It's that kind of energy. Because the Five of Swords can be a card of victory, but it's a victory that comes at a cost. So somebody may be trying to gain a victory over you by, you know, using you know, the, wrong, the wrong tools, by sort of bringing it in, almost into a battle situation. But it's really time for everyone to put down their swords. And if that's not going to happen, Leo, then it's time to extract yourself in this situation. You know, in a relationship sense, you know, that could be somebody who doesn't allow you to shine, somebody who is stealing your thunder, somebody who always wants you to live by their values and not your own. 
Um, it can be that kind of tit for tat, sort of niggling, fighting, can even be gossip, that sort of energy. And I think you've given it your best shot in this situation. You know, Seven of Pentacles is about somebody who's put the work in, somebody who's invested to grow and develop the situation. And you've probably had a certain amount of success. I mean, this person Leo has a bush of beautiful pentacles, but he's reached a point where he's like, okay, well, if I've put in more time, energy and effort, if I do what I always did, I'm going to get what I've always gotten. And I think that you are no longer willing to accept that energy. You know, the fives can be about conflict, but they can also indicate that it's time to change. It's time to transition that energy. It's time to move away from that. And I really see that as being the focus of energy this week, Leo. It's about moving on. Right, so focus energy is Queen of Wands and Six of Swords. Leo, you know, this card often indicates the energy of Aries, but I think in this reading it probably indicates your fire energy. So the Queen of Wands is somebody who has the vision to see what's going on in a situation and make better choices, make better decisions for herself. She is that opportunist. She is that person that knows when it's time to move on. She's absolutely not going to stay in a situation that's not serving her because she's determined. She's fiery. She can manifest new beginnings. So why would she stay in something that's causing her any amount of strife? So the Queen of Wands is that energy of making instinctual calculated decisions to transform your future for the better. And I feel that, that that decision, Leo, might be moving on from the situation that's no longer bringing you the gains or the reward that you desire. The Six of Swords is about making a necessary rite of passage to move from tumultuous times, because water is the emotions in tarot, to a place of smoother sailing, to a place of greater peace, calm and clarity. There can be some sense of, you know, um, sadness or, or despair, you know, and having to move on. I mean, you've invested a certain amount of time in the situation, so it's not always easy to leave it. But you have to know that sometimes in order to get to um, a greater place, we need to make uh, decisions to leave situations that are not necessarily easy. And if possible, we need to leave the swords, the baggage, the victim mentality, the self-defeating thoughts, Leave them on the shore so we can carry on with an empty vessel. So I feel, Leo, this week you're invited to make the good decisions for yourself. Make the decisions for yourself that's going to result in that new chapter. Because a new chapter absolutely is on the horizon for you. And when we have the Fool, guys, the Fool is the biggest energy of new beginning in the tarot. The Fool invites you to take a leap of faith, even though you might not know where the destination is heading. So some of you might choose to just say, well, you know what, I've had enough with that job or career. I've had enough with that toxic friendship or relationship. I don't really know what my next move is. My next pathway hasn't opened up yet, but I'm going to trust and I'm going to leave the things that don't serve me because I know when one door closes, another one opens. That's the energy of the Fool. So you may not know, you know, where you're going to be heading, but you just know that this is the right move for you. And often when you jump, Leo, that's when the safety net appears to catch you. Of course, there's going to be challenges on the new journey and mountains to scale, but the fool's not worried about that. He just has his head held high and trusts that he'll be guided through the new journey. Again, we have the indicator, these animals here, the little cat and the dog. These are our instincts. So it's about trusting the gut and tuning into that and making the decisions that we truly feel are right for us. And the Eight of Pentacles, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is about now carving out that new direction, putting the work in, but instead of putting the work in like the Seven of Pentacles where you may not have been getting the reward that you require, this is about getting great reward, the Eight of Pentacles being so proud of what you're creating for your life that you want to put it on display. The Eight of Pentacles is about putting your time, energy and effort into something that's really going to be worthwhile for you. As we're going from a seven to an eight here. So both of these cards have a sense of free spirit, of individuality, of self-sufficiency about them. 
So I think it's really time for you to think closely about what you want for your life, Leo, outside of other people and set about making that happen because the energy here is for it, all for it this week. So it's really beautiful energy here, Leo. It is a shift and it's perfect timing with the new year. So I say, if you're wondering what to do, take that leap of faith. So Leo, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I wish you all the best with it this week. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Always like to know how it's unfolding in your daily life. Um, it is a general reading, guys. I'm not saying it's going to be like this for every Leo, but it will be for some of you guys. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.